Okay. So, <clears throat> Scorpio. Hmm. You've been dealing with an air sign? Some of you in a third party here? Or you found out about a third party situation? In your immediate past, I have the Ace of Swords. Present, I have Knight of Swords. In future, I have Three of Cups. Um, so for some of you, you might have recently found out your person is involved in a, um, like you're not their only person. And you, you attacked them with it. Um, I feel like there was very aggressive conversation. Like, yeah, um, I know what you're up to. And, uh, yeah, this is, yeah. So I feel like you found this out. I don't know if they told you or whatever, but something came here. Very harsh truth. And the Knight of Swords here is like, I mean, it's like, quick movement forward, not so nice conversation. Um, and the, and the, <laughs> the Knight of Swords is pointing at this three of uh, cups. So I feel like for some of you, you've been, um, you've discovered that your person is involved in a third party. This isn't your person. Then they have found out that you're involved in a third party. Let's pull some of their, cards here. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So they have the wheel of fortune, the five of pentacles and the fool. Oof. Okay, sorry for all the sound effects. I wanted to pull the relationship energy before I read their their energy. So, they have the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Pentacles, and the Fool, okay? So, Wheel of Fortune is, you know, guiding them in the right direction. The universe is guiding them in, in the right direction. <clears throat> Someone's feeling left out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles. The Fool. So what I feel like has happened here is that they knew they had to come toward you with this truth. For some of you, this could be vice versa. You could have moved toward them with the truth, with this Wheel of Fortune. <coughs> But whichever of you two has has moved forward with this truth, okay, or they found out they're moving, they're moving forward and leaving this situation. Take for some of you, they're you know they're walking away from this. They're looking for new new opportunity elsewhere. Is what I'm getting with the fool here you know, taking a leap of faith and just kind of leaving this um, because the universe is pushing them in a, in a better, more fulfilling uh, direction, looking for something new, taking a risk um, because in the relationship energy, I have the four of wands in the immediate past position, the lovers in the present position, and nine of cups, nine of cauldrons. So, you know, Four of Wands for me is a card of commitment. It's a card of, you know, um, happiness. But I feel like um, there's been, with the lovers here, there's there's been a decision in this relationship that had to be made. 
And um, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So I feel like they're one or, or both of you, you or, or that your person is choosing to walk away from this commitment <clears throat> because of this situation here with this third party. Because this is no longer fulfilling for them. They've had to make a decision about this, and it was a tough decision. It was a tough decision. Um, upcoming. Oh, yeah. So the Eight of Swords. So, um, you know, upcoming, somebody's just really going to be, uh, str this is struggle. This is um, self-imprisonment, um, just general unhappiness, really overthinking, caught up in their own thoughts, just, um, feeling lost and alone and trapped in their emotions. Um, really trying to find balance here. And again, you know, communication, honest communication with the Page of Swords in upcoming. This month might be a little rocky for you guys. And I feel like there's going to be a timeout. Um, I feel like there's going to be a timeout with this that you guys are going to take a break for, for a minute. I feel like your person is, um, they're, the, you've, uh, yeah, they're being guided to kind of spend some time on their own with the Merlin, the Hermit, Scorpio. So they, yeah, they're, they're going to spend this time to go within. I, I feel like, um, there was truth spoken about a third party. And like I said, it could be you or them or whatever, but that left this other person feeling completely left out. And the universe is moving them, moving them toward this, you know, this full energy, just um, taking a risk here and just, you know, um, I don't feel like this is, I do feel like they're they're going to take a time out, um, making a decision to uh, take a time out. I'm going to get some clarifiers for you for for this reading, um, Scorpio. So we can get a little clarity here on what is going on. So let me pull a card here for the um, this Ace of Swords. What is this? Ace of Swords. What is this communication? Okay. Mm. Yeah, your person's no longer, really no longer caring about this. Um, Four of Swords. Just um, you or the other person. Could be you that found out the truth. You know, and they're like I said, the energies could be flip-flop, but whoever's responsible for the the finding out about this third party is just not really, um, you know, just like I'm over, I, I can't do this. The chariot. So um, she's looking away. She's looking away from this situation. So I feel like... Um, the chariot is moving away from this. Like I said, um, you guys are kind of taking a time out. Five of cups. Um, so someone's feeling heartbroken, lonely, distraught over this. Um, just really heartbroken. Five of cups, five of shields. Just, um, you know, left out, heartbroken. Um, really crying over this situation where the other person is just a really, I don't, you know, I don't, I just can't even care about this. I got the wheel of fortune again twice. So definitely movement, movement forward. Page of wands. Hmm. I feel like that's really immature communication. 
um, you know, speaking in passion instead of truths, you know, like maybe saying something that uh, you don't mean. And then the three of wands. So definitely taking a time out. Um, you're in this waiting period after some conflict. Um, having to make a decision here with the, the two of swords. Finally seeing the truth and having to make a decision about it. And here we have the, you know, I call this my single person, my singles card. Um, so being okay on their own for a little while. Like I said, you or the other person's decided to take a time out. I really feel that there's going to be, uh, there's there there's going to be space in the relationship, especially with this Nine of Pentacles. Um, so you guys can determine how to move forward with this, if at all. Um, there is love here, and there was at one time what what was thought to be a committed relationship, but that has been ran over. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot and the Knight and all these swords. Yeah. So I feel like you guys are going to be taking a time out. Definitely Four of Cups again. So, um, you know, the universe is offering you a full cup of something. Um, but you're really unsure about that right now. Just feeling really unsure about it. Trying to balance two people. One of you is trying to trying to balance two different things here. Okay, so let's pull some cards from our romance angels and see what um, what our angels have to say about your situation here. Maybe give you some guidance as to how to move forward with this. Um, you know, post energy here of this reading, Scorpio. Let's see how I should move forward, Scorpio. Codependency, uh, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, you know, codependency doesn't necessarily mean, a, a, you know, addiction can be anything. Addiction could be, you know, and it, it, it could be this third party that you couldn't let this person go or they couldn't let that person go. And, you know, you were dependent on them for something. But anyways, uh, some kind of addiction, some kind of codependency situation has affected this relationship. I feel like it has something to do with this third party here. Um Let me try to pull another card from our Romance Angels. What do we have for our Scorpios? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I feel like at one time you guys did have good energy here, but, you know, maybe you had or the other person has spent this playfulness on another party. Um, there is enough romance, though, and attraction here to bring this back together if you guys work at that. Um, but I... I do see you guys taking a time out. Um, you know, maybe playfulness here and attraction means that, you know, you take a time out, but you could um, just rekindle your relationship by, um, you know, taking time apart and just seeing each other, reacquainting yourself with each other. You know, maybe that's what was lost here with this third party. You guys were seeking something that you weren't getting from your relationship outside. Not that that's right. That is not right to do. But, you know, um, that's the energy that I'm picking up here with this playfulness and attraction. 